light is sweet. Light is good. And the eye is the light of the body. If your eye is good, all your body will be full of light. If your eye is bad, therefore you will not be able to enjoy the beauty and everything that is upon the face of the earth. So that it will not be to you or for your own personal advantage, but it will be to the advantage of others. If a man is having a good eye, he will be able to lead himself on the road. And also he will be able to carry some other people along, whether as a driver, whether as a father rider, or whether a person that is leading children, because his eyes or her eyes are good. Therefore, we must also stand firm to shine our light to the world so that the kingdom of heaven will be glorified. Matthew chapter 5 verse 10. Ye are the light of the world. A city set upon the mountain cannot be hidden. A light is not covered, is not kindled and covered with a bow. Instead, it shall be put upon its stand and shall give light to everyone in the house. Therefore, let your light shine forth before men that they may see your good day and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Mark chapter 4 and verse 22 saying, there is nothing hidden that shall not be revealed. Nothing is hiding somewhere that shall not be revealed. Neither is there anything covered that will not be brought to open light. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time for a pregnancy that is concealed in the womb for a good nine months. Wait after nine months. What is inside that uh, uh, tummy? What is inside that womb will come out? Nothing hidden that will not be revealed. Neither is there anything covered that will not be brought to an open line. That's why, believer, we must have this understanding that the devil is our adversary. And many a time he compels us to be smart, to use our brain, to smart and satisfy what we just want. But we do not think well about how we God. How we God consider this my action. How we go consider this my action? Joseph had this understanding. He said, how can I do this wicked thing? How can I do this wicked thing? To lay my hands upon the wife of my master and sin against my God. So he has understanding that there is nothing hidden that shall not be revealed. Neither is anything for everyone that we make difference in his generation. Gloria Copeland, a woman, she made a great difference in her generation by stepping out of the crowd. You need to step out of how people think. Let your way of life, let it be different from others. If your way of life is the same as every other, therefore, don't expect anything that is different from, from their life. Don't expect it. It does not take a million of years for a man to change his experience. Just try and change your position. When you change your position, then you will be able to see things in a different way. It's because you are standing where you are still standing, and you expect something to change. Nothing will change. Nothing will change if you don't change your position. Nothing will change if you don't change your position. That is why the book of James, uh, chapter 2, and verse, where you read from verse 25, that can say that. Be ye doer of the word, and not hearer only, deceiving your own self. Be ye doer of the word, and not hearer only, deceiving your own self. If a man be the hearer of the word, and is not the doer, he's like a man that look at himself in the mirror. He look at himself and walk away, and forget that the kind, the manner of man is like. But for a man, who look at the perfect of liberty? Be not a forgetful hearer of this world, but a draw of the world. This man shall be blessed in his work. Therefore, shine your own light. Shine your own light. It is enough, is enough for believers to continue to conform with the standard of this world. That is what makes you not to shine the light of God in you. A 
a believer is conforming himself with the things of this world. And when you come into the crowd and ask, who is the pastor here? Or who is the believer here? You are not able to distinguish because everybody is quiet. Because everybody is quiet. A short man is a close destiny. You get into a meeting, whether in the box, or whether in your place of work, and you cannot say to everyone, say, excuse me, I have let have one minute, one minute of prayer, and you rest of three moments. You must be able to carry the It is your heritage of shining light. You must have boldness to say, let us rest and let's back our head one minute to pray. Whether some people will not close their eyes is not a problem. Whether people will not say amen, it's not the problem. But you, you are having boldness. And as you pray that prayer, something in the atmosphere change. Something in the atmosphere change. When you shine this light, something will walk out in the ways of God for you. Therefore, every Satan or satanic plan or opposition there shall be silenced. This is the way, this is the way you need to shine your life because when you refuse to shine your life, you make yourself to be like a baby. A baby always needs help and can never be able to help himself or herself. And for a little child, the Bible said, as a newborn baby, Great pure spiritual make of the word of God that you may grow, but you cannot continue to be baby forever. You cannot continue to let people be pampering you, pampering you, pampering you forever. Bad action to stand as a child because no matter how rich your father is, he cannot win his estate for a child. A child does not have understanding of when to come in or when to go out. You need to grow in your walk with God by reason of understanding. By reason of understanding through the word of God. That's right. For you to share your life, one of the principal factors is that you must be a world addict. You must be studying the word of God. Studying any materials about God. It may be in form of a flyer. It may be in form of Books written by men of God. It may be important. You must always be updating your knowledge and understanding. Satan himself, he has good knowledge of the word of God. And for you to defeat the devil, if he knows that you know what he knows, if he knows that you know the rest of the old part, the part of truth, he has no choice than to surrender. Ye shall know the truth. Ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the truth. And it is when you acknowledge Jesus that Jesus will give you that everything, that your inheritance to emerge as a child of God. I have met one of my fathers in the faith that said, he does not like to be addressed as Christian. No, he said he doesn't like to be addressed as Christian. He is not a Christian. That he said he likes to be addressed as a son of God. Son of God. Reason, when you call yourself a child of God, you as a child, you rise and fall. You rise and you run and fall. And because you are a child, you don't know the right from the left. You don't know when to come in, when to go out. You don't know the right word to say because you are a child. But when you have become a son, it means you are mature enough to take the estate of your father. You are mature enough to represent your father. Jesus is looking for people to represent him upon the face of the earth. Jesus said, I do not call you servant. Instead, I call you my friend. Because a servant does not know the business of his master. A servant does not know the business of his master. But instead, the son will enter into his father's bedroom and can do whatever he wants with his father because this man is his father. 
So we must get understanding that our life has to shine brighter than the light of the Gentiles. We must have evidence of reason when we are serving God. If you are not serving God with reason, you do not, you are not sure. You are not sure you are going to church. You are not sure. Well, we are, it is a Sunday. Let me just go to church. Is that all your understanding if I go to church on Sunday? This is Sunday when I have my clothes letting go. Today, this Sunday, I'm tired. I cannot go to church. You have small understanding as a little child. By saying this, what if you die that day that you say you don't want to go to church? Somebody told me, say, hey, Pastor, which time did you reach out that day after you left work? I said, I reached home after one o'clock. And were you still able to go to 